Candidly speaking, how's everyone? It's Lisa here. Just got cussed out again. As usual, this is a, every five minutes I get cussed out, you know, somehow or some form of fashion. I'm really used to it. I don't know why you guys think I'm some politically correct. I'm not. I'm a fucking asshole. I'm ignorant as shit. And I'm crazy as fuck. And I just decided to record myself and have motherfuckers watch. So, why do you waste your time posting? Like, don't you think I know something's wrong with me? Because I do. Yeah, I do. So, I don't know, maybe it just makes you feel better if you type all this out and you vent your anger and like, damn, bam, there you go, bitch. But, good luck with that. But, um, well, I guess, I guess it does, does kind of help in a sense because I'm going to respond to a comment, which is very rare that I respond to a comment. And it was back when I was talking about Mendeecees, that episode, um, that show I did, Mendeecees, and Men with Caribbean Accents. I have so many Caribbean family members. And so many people cuss me out. A lot of people probably unsubscribed. That's fine. But you motherfuckers are so damn sensitive. I mean, I love Lisa Lampanelli. I used to like even Andrew Dice Clay. And they have a lot of racist humor going on. Um, and I, I like that kind of shit. So if that really bothers you guys, um, I don't know. Jump back on a banana boat. I don't, I don't know. Go back to fucking Jamaica or wherever the fuck. Guyana or whatever. Um... But it's not that serious. So we're in America now, people. So you need to just, yeah, just have a little sense of humor. I mean, there's black, white jokes all the time. And now we're making some Caribbean jokes. Sometimes I do Latino jokes. What difference does it make? I mean, it's just a joke. It's just to kind of poke fun at shit and just to crack a smile. So don't get so offended unless you really are hunting for coconuts and bananas. That, that's when offense should start kicking in. Um, Married to medicine. Anybody watching that? My father's disgusted with the show ever since the fight the girls had. Yeah, since he's a doctor and all. So he's a little like, whoa, this is not how they act. But um, anytime someone comes up to you and like pulls both sides of your hair and your face like that is so, that's fighting. It's time. It's time to throw it out. You're being funny. You're being funny. And that's what Mariah did. I told the other girl. I don't even know her name. But Mariah, her makeup sucks. The, the colors going on with her eyeshadow, I mean, it's cool. You want to, you know, have some eyeshadow going on and you, you do the light to dark. I mean, that's the little rule that they have when you're applying makeup. But um, she needs help, professional uh, makeup applying help. Um, and I think something's a little wrong with her. I don't know why these women are saying all these things. I, I just um, throw in shade. Ooh, honey. Ooh, girl. I just, it's so faggot magnified, uh, you know, the conversation these days. I, I just... Ooh, honey. Ooh, ah. Ooh, throwing shade. I just. Who says that? Who says that? Um, the white lady on Married to Medicine. Ooh, look like she just popped out of a coffin. She looks absolutely horrible. Horrendous. She looks terrible. She looks like a Muppet. She looks like the Muppet from the Muppets. You remember the Muppet that had her eyes closed all the time? You know, in the band with the blonde hair? That's her. I, I just don't know. Um, the female doctor, I don't even know her name, with the big teeth, you know, she's kind of condescending sometimes in her tone, and uh, it seems like she doesn't really have a lot of respect for her husband, but I do love Jackie, I like Jackie because she's in her own world, class of her own, she works out all the time, she looks good, and she's not with that bullshit, and I just like Jackie. R&B Divas, anyone watching that? Nope, me neither. Um... Oh, one question. Are all R&B divas overweight? I was just wondering. No, not really. I know Whitney Houston wasn't. Mariah Carey's not. I was just wondering what you guys thought about that. I guess, like, the it has been R&B divas. Um, t show. Don't know. Was that canceled? I've been looking for it. No, really, I haven't. I haven't been looking for that shit. Um, do, 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 do. Mystical. So I'm listening to this future CD that I love. And I go to this number six. I don't know what it is on a normal CD since mine is kind of like a bootleg CD. But whatever. And I just play this song over and over fucking again with Mystical on it. Because Mystical be snapping. Y'all don't understand. Mystical is the truth. It be saying that shit. It be yelling that shit. It be screaming that shit. It be serious about that shit. It should be serious. Love that shit. Mystical is the shit. Mystical, please put out a CD. Because I will buy it. Rick Ross, I'm sure you guys already heard that Reebok pulled their sponsorship from him. Yeah. He's talking about Molly's. Put Molly's in Girls Drinks on a song. Yeah. You don't even know it. That's Rocco Future. Um, 
put a molly in her drink and she don't even know and then he fucks her later and she doesn't even know it i mean that's that's date rape so uh yeah ricky rose they pull that endorsement from you yep um was it endorsement sponsor i swear i'm retarded um yeah oh yeah because i remember years ago really like 20 years ago I was at this house and it was in East Atlanta and we were all kicking in or whatever and my friends were there or whatever and my friend was we were fucked up. But with these, with these dudes we used to kick with all the time or whatever and get fucked up but this time they really took it too far. They put something in my friend's drink and I remember it was like a double deuce something not a Colt 45. It was double deuce though and it was a brown bottle and I saw them put some white powder like substance in her drink when she turned around or whatever and I was like oh no I was like I saw you and they was trying to play like I was all fucked up and shit like I didn't know what I was talking about they was at least you tripping because they know I do be tripping and I was like no 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 I was like I know I just seen you put some in the drink I was like no I grabbed her drink I just started pouring that shit out she was like no my drink I was like no drink my drink no 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 I was like no tell these niggas to drink no you drink it because you already know you put some in my friend drink they was trying to play me like no you crazy so you be tripping I was like no <laughs> Don't drink that. Don't you dare drink that. Fashion Queens. Anybody watch that? I really am surprised this show is still on. Fashion Queens. Um, lasted longer than T-Boss's show. But Fashion Queens, you know, Lawrence and Derek J. And what's that lady named? Bev, who's hosting it? Bev. I've never really heard of Bev. I don't like the way she talks. I don't like the way she enunciates her words. Um, she looks like she used to smoke crack or be on dope really bad. And then someone kind of helped her get on her feet. She still has teeth like uh, she's been chewing on bricks. But I like to see what these fashion queens are wearing sometime, to be honest. And um, that damn, what is it, Derek J? He just looks like a balloon. A balloon with a suit jacket. He always looks uncomfortable and you just want to unbutton a, a jacket or two or just a, a top button. Like, oh, can you breathe now? He just always looks uncomfortable. He always looks stuffed. He's like an overstuffed turkey. Um, but he seems like a nice guy. I always like to see how, um, Lawrence's makeup is, because his makeup usually is nice, and his little hairstyles, so, whatever. Um, and I, I think I'm kind of getting kind of cool with more gay people, because I met another gay guy yesterday, and I was in this little training thing, and he was kind of cool, and we were cracking up throughout the whole little training thing. He was cool. And then I met another gay guy like at the jewelry store. And he's a sales clerk there or whatever. And he just be having me rolling and shit. And I just, I be like, y'all do be funny. So I'm coming around. I'm trying to get out of my head, you know, penis going into ass. And if I get that out of my head and, you know, AIDS and penis going into asshole again, and then I'll, I'll be better. I'll be better. I can, I can love people more just trying trying to not be so judgmental but I feel at that in so many ways um I guess that's it I'm turning the page to see what else I have to talk about oh yeah I was gonna say one thing this one viewer um I do want to at least talk about, touch one topic he says he's single but his friend isn't and he talks to his friend every day and every night for hours sometimes and he wants to know is she mentally or emotionally cheating on her man uh he says they do have a history. She's not cheating, but she's being extremely disrespectful to her man, that is. So, uh, and a lot of times that borderline by being extremely disrespectful can easily turn into cheating. It's, it's, it's so easy just to cross that line. All right, so I'm going to go now. I just wanted to say something to you guys really quick before I dip up out of here because I'm about to go work out. Me and my homegirl is about to go work out. Okay, because that's what we're about to do. And then we're going to blow it down afterwards. Okay, how politically correct is that shit? Well, look up, not down, and broaden your fucking horizons. Peace, motherfuckers. Zoom.